if this is real. Welcome to Fakeryland. Brought to you by Gravity. Feel the force. is pure and pristine. It can be strongly breathtaking, leaving you speechless. But in the eye of the beholder, it can turn around, hypnotize and captivate the mind, ready to petrify your reality. Hello, I'm Sonny Williams. I'm up here on the International Space Station. Can you resist? Please welcome to the stage, Mr. Buzz Aldrin. Do I have any job takers? We got a lot of jobs. Science! After being a fighter pilot, shooting down two airplanes in Korea, and getting a little bit of combat, I got into this here space program. <laughs> Science! She blinded me with science! Tell a story about my time on the moon now. The sky was black even though the sun shined down. Moonwalking such a trip, it's so fine when you're walking in the lunar dust. Biology. Yeah. Good heavens, Mr. Aldrin. Space is beautiful. <laughs> Silence! Blinded me with science! It took us four days riding on a rocket to 
to set foot for the very first time. I'm gonna tell you about the meaning of it all. We came in peace for all mankind. above the sky, riding orbits in 90 minutes time, all you need is to come with me, I'll be your guide, science! Are you ready to put on your spacesuit? Strap in for the G-Force liftoff. Countdown is getting very close now to the adventure of a lifetime. I've been there, now I say it's your turn. All we gotta do is make the engine burn. Let's take a trip on an orbital spaceship. This is how we will reach the stars. stars. All you need is the rocket experience. It's all you need. To go flying into outer space. I am the spaceman. See this world as a beautiful place. I am the rocket man. All mankind, one human race. It's time to venture far. Let's take a trip to Mars. Our destiny is to the stars. All you need is the rocket experience. Katie Coleman is a NASA astronaut and a mother of two. And she joins us now from the International Space Station. Hello, Katie. Hello. This is so cool, isn't it? Hey, Katie, well, I want welcome to ask you the world that has been pulled over your eyes to blind you from the truth. What truth? That you are a slave, Neo. Like everyone else, you were born into bondage. Born into a prison that you cannot smell or taste or touch. A prison for your mind. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. We don't have time for a meeting of the Flat Earth Society. 
I'm Don Pettit. I'm a NASA astronaut and I'm on the International Space Station. The space Station is a serious place. We're doing serious research, scientific research and engineering research. If you understand the math, if you understand the physics, it will allow you to go out and get a neat job. A job sort of like mine, where you're an astronaut and you can fly in space. I suppose you can see why there might have been some debate, because from here, the Earth certainly looks flat. Now, everybody knows that it's round, but how do you know? you know because someone told you and I suppose if you really think that seeing is believing then you would have had to wait until we left our planet journeyed off into space turned around and took a picture to see our beautiful spherical earth this is the first ever photograph taken from space of the earth fully illuminated by the sun Taken in 1972 by the Apollo 17 astronauts as they travelled to the moon, it became the most viewed image in history and was named the Blue Marble. This shape is echoed throughout the universe. 
Look at every star and every planet and you'll see that the sphere beautiful spherical earth and you'll see that the sphere everything is spherical everything's like a ball sphere attracts everything towards the center of the planet and they form a spheres Sphere, spheres. Everything is spherical. Everything is like a ball. Sphere, spheres. Beautiful, spherical spheres. Spherical, perfect. Spheres. And it's quite a thought to think that if our Earth had been much smaller, then gravity would not have been strong enough to sculpt it into that beautiful, perfect blue marble that we see hanging against the blackness of space. Now imagine, over millions and millions of years as the Earth grows, how many millions and millions of pieces of rock smash into the Earth and make it grow. And all that energy made the centre of our planet get so hot that it melted its solid core, making it even easier for the sphere to form. And incredibly, some of that heat is still escaping today, helping to fuel volcanoes across the Earth's surface. Gravity is the reason that our planet is spherical. But it doesn't always win out. Not everything in space is quite as perfect. Everything is spherical. But how do you know? Everything is like a ball. But how do you know? Because someone told you. Everything is spherical. Everything is like a ball. Science rules. T minus seven seconds. Without gravity, there'd be no you, there'd be no me, there'd be no Earth, there'd be no sky. Gravity, now playing everywhere. Dance! I did a lot of cities at night, and then the, the nighttime aurora and time time-lapse sequences of Earth, uh, many of those that you see have been done uh, uh, in this uh, module uh, when...
if uh, you can control the situation uh, depending on your photographer. And I have very good photographers. Uh, but. Uh, Film down and got us kind of there, but the moment we were on the zero G plane, it was like, boop, that was it. It, it was totally clear. There was mapping the exact uh, landing locations, which were, by the way, six uh, six actual landings that we made there. It's uh, it's kind of it, you, you could kind of go there with one and say you know say whatever you want, but uh, we've been there six times. Give us a break. <laughs> It was like, boop, that was it. It, it was totally clear. Uh, six, uh, six actual landings that we made there. It's uh, it's kind of it, you, you could kind of go there with one and say you know say whatever you want, but uh, we've been there six times. Six, six, six. Party people! Before that, we always indulge in a few pagan rites to appease the EVA gods. I'm ready to go in, coach. Just give me a chance. I know there's a lot riding on it, but it's all psychological. I've just got to stay in a positive frame of mind. I'm going to execute a button hook pattern super slow mo. <sighs> Let's see that in an instant replay. Grass Tyson. And I'm here to tell you how fing rad space is. The total number of quarks in this universe are six. Six. Six quarks. Six. Six. Six quarks.
Science! Now I'm here to take you on the same journey to unlock the secrets of the universe. So if I mean, on the space station, how many of these would you have? Uh, seven, because we have seven windows. What happens if you get a leak on that? Um, then you have a leak. You just have a leak. And, and what you would do... You would lose air. Yeah, you would probably seal the whole cupola off. And then uh, there's probably a plan, I don't know off the top of my head, but there's probably a plan for replacing the, the mechanism might require a spacewalk. So my question is, how can you operate a lid on the outside of the space station by manipulating something mechanical on the inside of the space station without losing air pressure? It's, it's called real good engineering. Billions, billion, trillion, billion, 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 million, billion, million, billions, million, billion, million, million, billion, million, million, billion, 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 trillion, billion, million, billion, million, million, trillion, billion, million, billion, billion. The act of moving onward means we, we pass these signposts. One of them was first leaving Earth. The next one is hanging out on the moon. What's next? The planets. Onward to the edge. We're moving onward to the edge. Here we are together. This fragile world. This fragile world. Onward to the edge. We're moving onward to the edge. Here we are together. This fragile world. Is fragile. Onward to the edge. We're moving onward to the edge. Here we are together. This fragile world. Is fragile. Onward to the edge. We're moving onward to the edge. Here we are together. This fragile world. The history of humanity has been, you know, slowly increasing the. The, the boundaries of knowledge and knowing more and more and more and feel comfortable inside there, but at the edges, it's always going to be a challenge. Yeah, absolutely. At the edges, it's always going to be a challenge. Or do you remember what Armstrong said, the most stunning thing that an astronaut could say, and I think in this milieu get away with it? Give us the quote. Well, he, he said two things. At the start of his speech, he compared himself and the other astronauts to birds to parrots and he then made a joke and he said and parrots don't fly very well well what else do parrots do <laughs> they repeat what, what they're they told. told Wilbur Wright once noted that the only bird that could talk was the parrot and he didn't fly very well <laughs> Breakthroughs available to those who can remove one of truth's protective layers. Please welcome Steve Deceive. Hi, Steve Deceive here. I wish to read some flat earth poetry for you. If you like it, I will read another one at the end so. And I will read them without a voice box.
very much. Thank you. So it's not actually a sphere. It's an it's oblate. But how do you know? And officially it's an oblate spheroid. It's like pear-shaped. Yeah. But how do you know? It's like pear-shaped. Yeah. You know? Because someone told you. Oh, yeah, but here, here it is. Here, here, here it is. Uh, if you look at, like, the fuel that was loaded up into the Saturn V rocket, you can calculate where that fuel could take that rocket. It's to the moon and back. <laughs> so. But how do you know? It's, they're not going to the Piggly Wiggly, right, yeah. in the Saturn V. But how do you know? Because someone told you. She's tied it up and I can't find anything On my tubes and wires and careful notes And Nancy crazy notions But it's poetry motion And when she turned her eyes to me As deep as any ocean And sweet as any harmony Last time mm, She blinded me with science She blinded me with science Now can we? Now can we? 